Hello, this is Mighty Owl. Imagine a toy store is having a contest. They have a huge jar of marbles, and whoever guesses the number closest to the actual number of marbles in the jar wins. So, you walk around all sides of the jar, count a few marbles in one section, and then use that number to make a guess about how many are in the whole jar. What you just did is called estimating. When you estimate, you use what you already know to figure out a value that is close to the exact amount. Today, we are going to estimate lengths of objects and compare our measurements. How exciting! Sue is a big fan of collecting. She has lots of different collections. Baseball bats, jump ropes, tennis rackets, flowers, even bugs. She's measuring and organizing her collections, so we are going to help her out. Let's start with Sue's tennis racket. Do you have your measuring tape with you? Don't worry, here's one. Let's lay down the tennis racket and measure it. It's exactly 21 inches long. Now, let's estimate how long her jump rope might be. We can use the length of her tennis racket to help us estimate the length of the jump rope. Remember, estimation isn't just about making a guess. It's about using any information you already know to help make the guess. We know that the tennis racket is 21 inches long. We can estimate how long the rope is by drawing a copy of the tennis racket next to the first one we have. And another one? Ha! The rope is almost covered, and here is one more. Yes, here we go. Looks like Sue's jump rope is as long as four tennis rackets. So, if the length of a tennis racket is 21 inches, we need to add 4 times 21. And that is 21 plus 21 plus 21 plus 21. 21 plus 21 is 42. 42 plus 21 is 63. And 63 plus 21 is 84. So, our estimation for the jump rope is 84 inches. Sue is about to measure the jump rope. Let's see what the actual length is. The measuring tape is aligned, and look. The jump rope is 88 inches. That's really close to our estimation of 84 inches. Great job! Now that we have both measurements, we can also find out how much longer the jump rope is than the tennis racket. We are comparing the lengths. We know this because the question asks how much longer. So we will need to subtract. If we subtract 21 inches from 88 inches, we get 67 inches. The jump rope is 67 inches longer than the tennis racket. That's mighty awesome. It looks like while we were working on all that, Sue moved on to organizing her baseball bats now. These aren't ordinary bats. These are souvenirs from different baseball games Sue has been to. So cool. The Wildcats souvenir baseball bat is 18 inches long. Let's estimate how long the Hurricanes souvenir baseball bat might be. We can use the length of the Wildcats baseball bat to estimate the length of the Hurricanes bat. This time, the Hurricanes bat is shorter than the Wildcats bat. It's only a little bit shorter though. Sometimes more than one estimate makes sense. We could estimate that the Hurricanes bat is 17 inches or 16 inches and both would be good estimations. It seems like maybe it's a little more than one inch shorter, so let's estimate that the Hurricanes bat is 16 inches. Now, time to measure. Nice estimating! It seems like the Hurricanes bat is between 16 and 17 inches long, but it is closer to 16 inches. So we can say that it is about 16 inches long. That was our estimation. You've done a really good job with estimating today. Sue's gone out to the backyard now. Let's take a couple things from some of Sue's different backyard collections and practice one more time, using some different units. Here is a sunflower, an earthworm, and a really large stick. Sue already measured all of these items, but forgot which measurement went with which. Let's use our estimation skills to help her out. One of the items is one foot long, one of the items is two meters long, and one of the items is six centimeters long. This time, we don't have the exact measurement of another object to help us out. 
but there is still lots we do know. First, we know that a centimeter is a really small unit. We know a ruler has one foot on it and can also fit about 30 centimeters. So, six centimeters is pretty small. It's definitely smaller than a foot. It's a good estimate that the earthworm is six centimeters. Next, the stick is definitely longer than the flower. We know that a foot is smaller than a meter, so a foot is also smaller than two meters. This means that a good estimate for the flower is one foot, and a good estimate for the stick is two meters. Sue found her notes. Let's see what they say. We did it! We got all of our estimations right. Great job today. You learned that to estimate length, you just have to use what you already know to make a good guess. You may know the length of a different object, or you may be able to think about the sizes of different units to help. You also learned that to compare the lengths of two objects, you can subtract to find the difference. Great work today.